Okay guys, you might hear a little bit of road construction as they're putting in our sidewalks finally. Very excited about that. Um, but this here is the dried results of Blaze of Glory or Blazing Glory, whichever I named it as. Um, it, I, it's, it's beautiful. I'm so happy with this. And like I said, I had more leftover paints and I was going to um, do another one. But look at all those lines and the cells. The details are amazing. So, and there's that spine area I wasn't crazy about, but I love the wispy white areas. So we are going to do another one. And then um, if I have time, I don't think I will, as I just finished mixing up my paints, uh, for a different color sequence. Um, the Mossy Boys, Lee and Jeremy, have challenged me to do something with Payne's Gray and Prussian Blue. So I have some other colors mixed up and if I have the time, I'll do it. I have a canvas prepped, but if I don't have time, um, I'll do it when I get home and we'll not put it in this video. We'll do another video for it. Uh, so let me get my pouring cup and a lot of questions regarding this cup. Um, I love how it pours. So it's very streamlined, sleek design. And I got it at our uh, local Marshalls or um, which is owned by Home Goods and TJ Maxx. So this is what it is and it's got this great little spout and we'll see how it goes now i i went back to my video and i wrote down all the layers of colors in which order uh to try to get it as close to as the original pour as possible we all know that's literally impossible to do but at least with the colors in in order maybe i'll get close. I didn't realize I put like 26 or 27 layers in there. So this was, this was fun to go through. Um, the colors again, uh, I'll go through those. They're the 24 K gold. I have Bordeaux red with, uh, by Arteza. All of these are mixed with Floetrol. I have violet dark. I think I said deep in my last video. I meant violet dark by Goldens. I also have Quinectadone Magenta by Liquitex, Nickel Azo Gold by Goldens. I haven't stirred these yet. Um, and Payne's Gray by Amsterdam. These all leave a mound on a mound. And it's hard to say how much Floetrol I used in each one, but I did put seven ounces of Floetrol in each cup, except for the gold, uh, that's one to one. And then I added a couple scoops or a bit, about an ounce and a half to two ounces of each colored paint in there. My white is Artist Flow, Artist Loft Flow White acrylic paint mixed two to one with Floetrol. So two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And then I added some satin enamel. And when I say a couple of scoops, I mean just the tongue depressor or this stir stick that I've got. Um, I just take a couple scoops and I pour them in. So, all right, so we're gonna get to layering. I'm gonna add my white first as that was the first color that I was doing. All right, and then I did add a little bit of gold. And when I did this pour, I didn't do a lot of gold in my layers, um, which, you know, I thought would be a little less gold in the original pour, but I guess not. And we're gonna come in with the Azo. The Bordeaux Red. We have the Magenta. And I saw a lump of some sort, so tweezers hopefully to the rescue. There we go, I got it. All right, um, so we're gonna come in with the Violet Dark. A 
little bit of gold. Come in with Payne's Gray. Bordeaux Red. And then Violet. Come in with some white. Gold, all right. And finally with some Azo Gold. And I think what I'm gonna do is add a little more of the Violet Dark to that because I had about 12 ounces in my last cup. So that is how we're going to end that. All right. Get my colors out of the way. Now what I did, I came in through here. Get my list out of the way. Here is my cup, beautiful cup. And we're gonna do a wandering ring pour. Okay. Come in with my torch. Definitely different than the last one, I can already tell. And then I'm going to come in with. Okay. I'm come down to this corner first.
to get that weird looking back puddle of paint off of there. And come on down to this corner. I'm just bringing it all the way back right now. Now I'm not wild about this area here. <clears throat> trying to let you guys see but I don't think it's gonna work well folks that just proves no two pores are the same this piece is beautiful all on its own so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my gloves and bring you guys in and uh, we'll see if we can get that second pour in. All right, I didn't wait any time to see it develop, but as you can tell right here, it's already developing. And I think this is my favorite cell. I love that. It's got a little bit of Nicolazzo in there with some magenta, uh, but this piece came out beautiful. And I'm very happy that this is no longer a spine, but, or a blob of white. So this is the second of the two, and that's where, where we are going to end it with the blazing glory series or diptych or whatnot but i hope you guys enjoyed this uh so give me a few minutes and i will uh pull up the other canvas okay so we've cleaned up the area i've moved the canvas out of the way and we're gonna work on a new color combination here is my cup <clears throat> and the colors we're gonna be using are prussian blue I have Aqua Flash. I have a special little mix of blue flash and a, another couple of colors in there. We have Payne's Gray. And I have, oh good lord, what did I do with it? I've lost it. This is uh, Metallic Cyan by Global Colors. So those are our colors with the gold and the white, and uh, we're gonna get to layering this cup. I have a little bit of white left in here. So that's all we're gonna do with that. I'm gonna come in with a smidge of gold. And I'm going to do my blue flash mix right up next close to the Payne's Gray. And Metallic Cyan. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but we're going to give it a go. Prussian Blue. the gold with some aqua flash and I've got some white in here all right now here um come back in with the Prussian blue Just having fun with colors today. I'm 
actually gonna bumper that and I'm gonna put a little more gold right there. Come in with Prussian blue. Let's do the metallic cyan and then come in with the Payne's Gray. Right, and that's it. Yeah. We'll do a little bit of white. And then a little more Prussian blue. Because I don't want to end with white because that is the first color that comes out. And then we'll put this aqua flash, the rest of it in there. And then I'll top it off with some cyan. Be really nice to have some of that. And down the bottom. All right. Hot mess going on over here. And where was the cyan? There it is. So we have about 15 ounces in here to start. And that's where that is going to stay. Okay. Wipe off my hands. Are we ready? This is for you, Mossy Boys. And we're gonna do another wandering ring pour, but look at that cup. It's gorgeous. Love these colors. We'll go opposite. So these colors were a little more fluid than in the red pour because my paints are thinner naturally. Um, we'll go from there. We'll see how it turns out. I love the colors. A big bubble right there. Nope, maybe it's not a bubble. Not quite sure what the heck that is. It's a, I don't know. All right. We'll put some white down. right here so we're gonna go off this edge first and then come on down this end I really want to definitely did not turn out the same and I used a little bit less gold I think which I'm okay with it's still got to develop I still have to torch it um, but the lines are gorgeous on this piece I love it I'm 
going to move it down to this lower left corner and that would be your upper right. to take my gloves off this is so beautiful um, I might try and use it with different colors the next time around as in use more heavy bodied paints up these corners and then bring you guys in. So I have a little bit of leftover paint in my cup. And I'm going to add a little bit right here. So beautiful. We am so excited to bring you guys in so you could check out this piece. So uh, give me a few minutes and uh, we'll go from there. So real quick guys, um, as I was moving around the canvas and cleaning it up, I wanted to show you guys the cup. It is just so cool inside. And I love like the spout area with the turquoise right there. So I love how smooth this is and the movement is beautiful. And look at the lines. Got some baby cells in there. I'm actually liking how it wasn't taken over by cells. And then this area here looks like a flower. But the uh, aqua flash is all in here and the blue flash mix that I have is uh, in there also. So it will definitely shift colors, which I'm really looking forward to the dried results of this piece so that I can move it back and forth in the sunlight and see it change to purple and I think greenish, I'm not sure what the aqua flash changes to, I can't recall, but uh, I love it. I love it. Mossy boys, thank you so much for the challenge. Um, I'm really happy with this and I love this wandering ring pour technique. Um, thank you, Mina Villegas. She does wandering straight pours. She's done wandering ring pours before as well. So uh, I've been inspired and you can be inspired by anybody. Please like and subscribe and uh, check out Exceptional Acrylic Artistry on Facebook. It is a new group where we will be sharing our videos. And when we share our videos on YouTube, that's wonderful. You're there to support and whatnot. But um, sometimes it can be a pain in the butt to share those videos by clicking share, then copy the link, then add it to a post and go from there. On Facebook, all you have to do is click that share button and you share it instantly. So there's no copy and pasting of the um, video link, etc. So check us out there. Um, on that page, Fiona Art, Masi Art Studio, Studios, Mina Villegas and myself, we will be posting our videos. Um, so there's another way for you guys to watch. Have a beautiful day, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.